Happy Friday! This video is by way of a bit of an introduction to the video series I intend to do next week. I shared an article on LinkedIn earlier today, some of you may have seen it, and it was written for B&T magazine by a guy called David Pitch, and he is the CEO of the Institute of Managers and Leaders Australia and New Zealand. And they wanted to try and find out what people thought the, the attributes were for great leaders. So they asked nearly 12,000 uh, members of the Institute of Managers and Leaders what they thought were the attributes that made great leaders. And I thought I'd talk about these next week and give you my spin on what I think they look like and how we actually, how leaders actually develop these attributes. They've talked about respect, integrity, emotional intelligence, the ability to inspire, so being inspirational, authenticity, self-awareness and decisiveness. Now I was interested um, in those findings because yes I believe they are very important attributes um, for leaders but the one thing I think was missing was trust and I think leaders um, demonstrating that they trust their employees is so important and to also obtain the trust of their people. So trust works two ways. So one way is leaders demonstrate that they trust employees is by delegation, empowerment. It's not a word I like to use a lot, but giving employees autonomy to get on with the job at hand and get out of the way. If you micromanage, you're saying, I don't trust you to get on with the job. I don't trust you to deliver the outcomes that I want. What leaders need is clarity of outcomes and clarity of expectations and then let people get on with it. It's not abdication. You make sure you check in. They're there, you're there to support and you're there to remove obstacles if people need it. But other than that, they're allowed to get on with the job. And the other thing to establish employee trust in you as a leader is to deliver on what you say you're going to. And if you can't for any reason, you're transparent and you have that conversation. If you promise something and don't deliver it, the trust has gone. So I'll talk about all the rest um, next week. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye.